The value proposition is the cornerstone of a company. A company's value proposition concerns all the reasons why customers should buy the company's products and services rather than those of its competitors. Underlying the customer value proposition is the value system characterizing the organization. Traditional businesses think of value as an economic performance, but sustainable businesses include social and environmental responsibility as part of their value definition. This also means that companies running under a sustainable umbrella consider each one of these parts as important. Sustainability can be a competitive advantage as factors such as resource scarcity, global warming, or customers demanding transparency and responsible behavior are forcing businesses to change how they operate. For example, KLS Pure Print had been running business as usual for many years. The printing market was not doing very well, so in order to remain in business, they decided to become the greenest print company in the world. It's a printing company, quite traditional printing company as a production site, but, but um, since 2007 we have had the vision of becoming the greenest uh, printing company in the world. Uh, in the beginning, it was something that we worked with, uh, with the windmill and our electric cars, you know, a little bit beside the production, reducing electricity use. And in 2013, it, it grew into the company, it grew into the product, product itself. Um, and, and, and today, we, we, we haven't got a strategy for the business and a strategy for sustainability, you know, it's, it's the same strategy today. For us, sustainability is the business strategy. But it's also important to say that it's, it's only sustainable when it's also uh, possible to, to, to run a business on the strategy. Changing existing organizational practices is very different than a startup thinking of sustainability from an early stage. Take Up Energy as an example. The founders of Up Energy created this company to provide a solution to the problem of underage illegal immigrants. Immigrants arrive to Spain when they are underage and obtain a lot of support from the Spanish government. Unfortunately, by the time they turn 18, all the support is taken away and they have to find a one-year contract job to legalize their situation. Up Energy was created to protect this group of young people in risk of exclusion. To do so, they came up with a coffee waste collection company that would transform that waste into pellet, a viable burning material for heating. They had a purpose and used business format to provide a solution to a social problem by having not only social, but also environmental concerns in mind. So that's how we came to the idea of collecting coffee waste, transforming it into biomass pellets for using in a stove or a, or, or a boiler for, for heating houses and other buildings and using all of those processes to create jobs for underserved people. But how do you translate the concept of sustainability into real actions? For us, sustainability um, it, it should be everything. Like it's, it's, it's the fundamental value that we would like to build this uh, company on. The change that we would like to see uh, should be a long-term change and the jobs that we create for the people that we are trying to help should be quality long-term jobs not just a six-month insertion and then go and find your own way. The current way of conducting business where the financial value prevails over the social and environmental values is well established. As a company Finding financial support, suppliers, or even workers that understand and share your sustainable values can be a challenge. Marcor Bank, for example, was established in 1982 to provide financial support to local businesses, and it is the only bank in Denmark with a specific focus on sustainability. They now have over 30,000 clients. A lot of uh, private individuals uh, choose to bank with us because they want the trans transparency, they want to know what their money is doing at night when they sleep uh, and, and uh, we offer that transparency. You can look at our website and see what we finance very concretely. They want a bank with the same values, so, so if they, you want you work with organic farming or you work uh, yeah, in environmentally oriented businesses, you, you also want a bank that has the same approach um, and, and 
in addition to that, uh, we also have gained over the time uh, specialized knowledge in the sectors we work with. So, so we, we, uh, we already know from the beginning um, what the client is dealing with, uh, uh, so we can start the conversation in a way from, from a higher level. To be very clear that, that a bank or, or, or finance as a whole cannot be separated from the physical or real social world. Money is nothing in itself, it's only an, a tool we have invented to make the exchange we do with each other uh, more efficient. Because the economy is based on the physical world, the natural resources and the human labor force. And if you, if you destroy these assets, there will be no financial assets either. There are many tensions that can arise from trying to balance the social, environmental, and financial parts of a value proposition. This is a dairy cooperative where farmers own their product. They were established in 1988, trying to be an alternative to the big industrialized way of producing milk that was becoming the norm. They wanted to produce milk in an organic way and be able to control its entire production. Økologi, fordi det er der vi funderer, det er det økologiske landbrug vi funderer i, det er det økologiske, det er at ville et mere miljøvenligt landbrug. Sådan startede det i 88, der var det meget miljøet forurening, der var på dagsordenen. Jeg tror det er utrolig vigtigt, at det er landmænd, der ejer tisemejeri, fordi det er der kvaliteten og økologien får sin udfoldelse. Og det at have ejerskab til sine produkter, det er også derfor, at landmænd gerne vil til Tise Mejeri. Men, men, øh, men det er det at ville afsætte sin egen økologiske mælk. Øh, troen på, at økologi kan noget andet og noget mere end det konventionelle. Det er troen på, at det man gør, er det rigtige. Troen på, at man kan sælge produktet. Og så sige, at de første par år, der knokte det rigtig hårdt for overhovedet for at afsætte mælken. De troede, at folk ville rive det ned i hylderne. Det skete ikke. Så der er, en, der er, der er nogle meget hårde år økonomisk de første år. De her syv landmænd kommer i gang med at tabe mælk og sælge mælk. Det kommer så op at stå. Coop har altid været med i udviklingen af økologien fra økologiens spæde start. Og Coop har også været med til at booste salget af økologiske produkter og økologisk mælk. I 1993, oktober tror jeg, 93, der satte de økologiske produkter ned til lavet en uge eller tre uger, hvor de satte det ned til en billig penge for at prøve at få solgt nogle flere økologiske produkter. Og det lykkedes så at få solgt nogle flere økologiske produkter i de tre uger, kampagnen varede. Så forventede man så, at det økologiske salg ville falde igen. Det gjorde det ikke. Det steg, det bare med at stige. Sustainability is an ongoing challenge, but it can also become a company's competitive advantage. Even though most consumers won't go the extra mile to buy the more sustainable alternative, there is an increasing number of people who are concerned about what's behind the products they buy. So, having sustainability at the core of your value proposition can translate into a growing group of conscious consumers. <laughs>